Doctor, what do you think are the causes uh, to uh, scoliosis and also is it congenital and what is the earliest age that you can detect this? Yeah, so there are different kinds of scoliosis. Uh, we classify them based on their uh, origin. That is, uh, there is congenital scoliosis, which is a developmental disorder where uh, the spine, the one vertebra has to be square, but it may not be square. It may be abnormally asymmetrically shaped. So the next spine uh, vertebra sitting on top of it tilts to one side and that tilt just keeps increasing. So there is a, that is what we call as a congenital scoliosis. Then there is the infantile scoliosis, which comes around the age of five to six years or 10 years before the age of 10 years. And then there is the adolescent scoliosis, which comes happens only in adolescence above the age of 10 years. So there are these three different kinds of scoliosis. Uh, but then there are others also there. It can be secondary to uh, some ligament disorders in the spine where children are born with loose ligaments and that can lead to spy sideward bending. There is also neuromuscular scoliosis where there is a neurological disorder where for example a child is born with cerebral palsy and uh, they are not able, their muscles are not balanced so the spine starts getting deformed. It keeps getting deformed to such an extent that they may not be able to walk, they may end up being only, sit only sitting or they may just be bed bound. So it's important to identify the cause of the scoliosis, what is the reason behind it and uh, the treating treatment principles and our goals of treatment vary with the kind of scoliosis. For example, in a neuromuscular scoliosis where the child is anyway not going to walk, we cannot expect to correct a spine deformity and make the child walk because the primary problem is in the brain and which may not be treatable. But doing a surgery in such a child may help the parents in taking care of the child uh, better. The child may not be able to even sit, we may be able to make the child sit up and that is much better than a child who is completely bed bound. So there is, uh, there are a lot of intricacies in this, uh, but by and large uh, scoliosis is a treatable problem and there are points at which we suggest surgery and there are points that where we say no, no surgery, we just wait for some time.